Hello everyone, welcome to Aryan Tutorials on Engineering Mechanics. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about velocity ratio of bell drive system. So the velocity ratio of bell drive system. So what is the definition we can give for the velocity ratio? Here first I would like to give the definition. So the definition we can give it is the ratio of speed of the driven or follower to the speed of the driver. So that means the velocity ratio is equal to speed of uh, follower by the speed of driver we can consider okay for that we try to take an example of a simple bell drive system this is a simple bell drive system with a driver and driven uh, which are connected on the shaft and the belt is provided to transmit the rotary motion that is the power from driver to driven and try to assume the speed of the driver as n1 and speed of the follower as n2 so according to the de definition we can write the velocity ratio is equal to that is speed of the follower n2 divided by speed of the driver n1 okay so according to the definition we can write the velocity ratio equation like this n2 by n1 and at the same time by analyzing proper condition here during the velocity ratio uh, velocity oh, sorry during the power transmission we can give a particular another expression for the velocity ratio so we can give that we analyze here so first we try to find the velocity ratio for the simple bell drive system so the, this is the simple bell drive system for this try to assume speed as n1 and the diameter as d1 and similarly for the next follower try to assume speed as n2 and the diameter as d2 and during the power transmission from uh, driver to the driven here uh, the linear distance covered by the belt over the driver in one minute uh, will be equal to the linear distance covered by the belt over the follower in a minute so both will be equal the distances covered per minute by the belt on both pulleys will be equal okay so by writing that equation we can give certain expression to the velocity ratio so the linear distance covered by belt or driver in one minute will be equal to the linear distance covered by the belt over the follower in one minute so first we try to write the linear distance covered by the belt over the driver in one minute that is equal to we can write it as so what exactly happened means if you select any point over the belt so during one rotation of the pulley it will cover uh, the distance equal to the circumference so for a number of rotations uh, how much distance it can cover means circumference into number of rotations and this number of rotations per minute if you know then automatically by multiplying the number of rotations per minute to the circumference will get the distance covered by the belt uh, over the driver uh, in time that is per time we can get so that means distance or number of rotations per time means that becomes the speed of the pulley here so ultimately we can write it as pi d1 which is the circumference of the driver driver pulley into number of rotations per minute will give you the distance covered in minute or distance covered per time will get pi d1 into n1 and similarly the inner distance covered by the belt or the follower also we can write it as same equation pi d1 sorry pi d2 into n2 we can write it as so according to the condition what we can do we can make the two equations equal that is pi d1 n1 is equal to pi d2 n2 we can write it as so automatically we can write n2 by sorry pi pi gets cancels here and n2 by n1 is equal to we can write it as d1 by d2 okay that is the equation in terms of the diameter of the pulleys for finding the velocity ratio of the two pulleys and similarly when you want to consider the thickness of the belt also here we have not considered the thickness if you want to consider the thickness also then the equation will be d1 plus t by d2 plus t we need to add the thickness to the diameter values then automatically we get the velocity ratio after considering the thickness of the belt also okay this is the equation we can give for a simple belt system for the velocity ratio and similarly we try to discuss about the velocity ratio of compound belt drive and for the compound belt drive uh, we'll have more than one driven one driver and follower okay this is the system we can take an example for the compound bell drive uh, similarly here try to assume speed and diameter n1 and n2 for the first pulley and for second pulley try to assume n2 and d2 speed and diameter for the third pulley try to assume n3 and d3 and final pulley n4 and d4 and in this compound bell drive system try to take one bell drive system in the form of simple bell drive system so for the first bell drive system 
driver and the follower we can write the velocity ratio as n2 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 as we have uh, derived an expression for the simple bell drive system similarly if you consider the next bell drive system that is uh, this n3 d3 and n4 d4 we can write the equation for the second bell drive system that is velocity ratio is equal to we can write it as n4 by n3 n4 by n3 is equal to we can write it as d3 by d4 okay these two equations we are writing with the help of the velocity ratio for the simple bell drive system and for getting the velocity ratio for the compound bell drive system how the equation should be means the ratio should be in terms of final follower to the and the first driver that is n4 by n1 will get we should get so for that what we do means we try to multiply these two equations multiply the two equation that is n2 by n1 into n4 by n3 that is equal to we can write it as d1 by d2 into d3 by d4 we can write and when you again thoroughly observe here these two pulleys okay follower of this pulley and the driver for the next bell drive system these two pulleys are connected on the same shaft only so when the two pulleys are connected on the same shaft sorry same shaft the speed is constant the speed is same so that means n3 is equal to n2 it becomes n3 is equal to n2 number of rotations per minute is same so automatically n2 and n3 will be getting cancels here okay so finally we can write the equation as n4 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 into d3 by d4 or d1 d3 by d2 d2 d4 we can consider okay this is the equation for the velocity ratio of the compound bell drive here and similarly when the bell drive systems are keep on increasing here the velocity ratio we can write it as final that is speed of final follower to the initial driver we equal to we can write it as d1 into d3 into d5 d into d7 that means here uh, odd odd suffix values we need to consider d1 d3 d5 divided by d2 d4 d6 here even suffixes we can consider for the diameter values okay like that we can find out the velocity ratio for the compound bell drive system okay these are the two expressions we can give for the velocity ratio of simple bell drive system and compound bell drive system okay try to remember the formulas these are used for solving the problems when you are going to find out the power transmitted by the pulley power transmitted by the belt from one pulley to the another pulley okay in that case these are useful so try to remember the formulas for the velocity ratio of simple bell drive and the compound bell drive so i hope you understand the simple expression uh, explanation for finding the expression of velocity ratio for the two types of the bell drive systems and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video and uh, if you still you have not subscribed please subscribe and share my videos with your friend and once again thank you